YB stays on your neck. <laughs> Yo, my dance. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and obviously hit the bell for notifications. So, for those of you, man, who watched the video I put out earlier, exclusively revealing that Andy Margin Boo Ruiz was now publicly refusing to sign the contract whilst the YB five weeks ago revealed exclusively once again that privately Andy Ruiz, listen, your boy YB had sources within Ruiz's camp five weeks ago revealing to him that Ruiz don't want no parts of this contract, don't want no parts of the rematch, wants no parts of AJ a la Hercules Joshua. But let me not let me not get tied up in that in that BS anyway. You've watched that video, but in that video, the reason I mention it is because in that video, I said that I've got two more exclusive proprietary pieces of information that is unknown to date. And in this video, we're gonna break one of them. So many people have been saying, uh, why would Eddie Hearn why would Eddie Hearn say it's Say it's been say it's been confirmed. Eddie Hearn, Sky, they wouldn't possibly release the date and release the venue unless it had been signed by Ruiz. This is all just a big market employee. Many AJ haters are out there saying that Hearn and AJ and Ruiz they're all colluding and just trying to build more hype. And I'm here to tell you, factually, that is not the case. What's actually gone on? I've heard from a source within Team AJ. The reason Hearn. AJ, Sky have actually come out and made the posters and made the promo and put it out there publicly is because they are exposing Ruiz. Essentially, as the YOB understands it from his exclusive sources inside AJ's camp, this fight has not been signed. And this is what I've been trying to tell you lot for the longest time, funnily enough. People say, oh well, Ruiz doesn't need to sign a contract because it was already signed the first time. No, that's not how it works. When you have a rematch clause, the rematch clause is the rematch clause, but still, the details within the rematch clause, i.e. location, date, etc, etc, still have to be agreed on, or essentially signed off on, signed off on by Ruiz. And when I say agreed on, what I mean to say is, what I mean to say is this, once AJ and Hearn and whatnot have decided the venue and date, Ruiz then has to essentially say, yes, I will turn up on that date. He has to put his signature to it at that point, to lock it in. That's so the partners of the event don't get honey dicked. Meaning, imagine imagine there was a case where, okay, AJ and Hearn put their put the date and information out, and Ruiz didn't sign it, and then all of a sudden, four four months later, he says, "Oh, I didn't know anything about it or whatever." Ruiz has to sign sign off on the date and the venue and whatnot, just so legally speaking, if Ruiz was to pull out the day before, Sky and DAZN would have would have an individual that he can point the finger at, legally speaking. He has to sign off on the date and the location to lock himself into that going forward. Now, he doesn't have any say to that extent. Well, tell a lie. The, the amount of say Ruiz has is what I've been explaining this whole time. And many people have con confused it as Ruiz having leverage. Ruiz doesn't have any leverage. The only leverage Ruiz essentially has is the ability to say, yes, I will fight AJ on the date and venue provided, or no, I will not fight AJ on the date and venue provided. I will instead go to court. That's what, to, 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 a, to a certain extent, Ruiz does have a little bit of power. He has the power to say, I'm going to fight this. I, I'd rather not fight AJ in the ring. I'd rather sit in the lawyer court or the court with lawyers and fight this in court for three years and be robbed down to my socks. I'd rather not only drag myself and my family down into generational debt, yeah, you're gonna. By the time Ern Hearn and AJ have finished with this dude, yeah, they're gonna be in generational servitude, hundred percent indentured indentured servants is what Andy Ruiz's great grandkids will be. By the time Ern Hearn, Eddie Ironclad Hearn, and AJ have finished with this dude, legally speaking, that's the facts of it. He thinks he's smart, Gaiman. <laughs> we already know Gaiman's lost four hundred million dollars with the PBC. Is gonna be liable for another four hundred million dollars. What we do know is this fight currently. Andy Ruiz is going to be liable for the, or Andy Ruiz is going to be liable for the opportunity cost of this event. Meaning, if this event was going to generate 100 million dollars, that's what. If Ruiz pulls out or just refuses to sign the contract, which seems to be the case, he's going to be liable for the 100 million dollars 
in full. There'll be none of this. There'll be no half payments or no percentage splits. He's going to be liable for the whole lot because that's the amount the partners of the contract have lost out on. The opportunity cost. That's what they've had to forgo because of Andy Ruiz's deep, deep-seeded fear. So anyway, as I was saying, essentially the news that's been broken now is because Andy Ruiz can and has refused to sign the contract, Eddie, Eddie Hearn, you've noticed, and I've been quite critical of Eddie Hearn over this time, I've said to people, I can't understand why Eddie Hearn's being so so amicable. I can't understand why he's not exposing Ruiz. You've, you've heard me say it all this time. Whilst all this time, the last six weeks, the YB's been coming out saying, I've heard, got, heard from sources inside Ruiz's camp, he's now categorically refusing to sign the contract. And that's why it's taken five weeks for a date to finally come out. But what, what's actually unfolded from my sources inside AJ camp, all we've seen now, this right here, is the culmination of the last six weeks. The reason AJ and his team have come out and put it out publicly is to expose Ruiz. Is to put it out there and completely expose him. And actually great Hearn in a way because whilst I was critical of him constantly underplaying it. Because there's plenty of videos out there of, of Eddie Hearn saying. Oh no, I know, I know Ruiz knows. His, I know Ruiz and his team. They know they've got legal obligations and I'm sure they'll follow them etc etc. That was him hoping. And essentially that hope and that, that all that. Yeah all that hope and niceness has now run out. So what they've decided to do is come out publicly, put the event out there, and now it's on Andy Ruiz's shoulders. You've already seen the news article saying he's refusing to sign it. So now it's going to be a big public debacle for Ruiz, and it's all the pressure's on Ruiz now. Because from this point, it's going to be... It's, that No one can sit there and look at Hearn, because as an example, if... Let's get it straight. On the 7th of July, Eddie Hearn came out and said, big news coming soon. At that point... They didn't truly understand that Ruiz was in deep fear for his life about fighting AJ. Eddie heard at that point on the 7th of July, he believed they'd send Ruiz a contract and it would be signed. Hence why he was so positive saying, new news coming soon. The fact it's now been five weeks later, it unfolds that at every point... Remember, there's been about three or four points within the last six weeks where Eddie Hearn said, new news coming soon, 48 hours, 48 hours. The reason that's been happening is because at every point he said 48 hours, that's been a new point that Ruiz has been sent a new contract to sign off on. And at each stage where Eddie Hearn and AJ, rightly or wrongly, have actually made revisions, trying to, trying to, trying to appease Ruiz, at each stage, Ruiz is flat out refused. And essentially, you can even see it through Eddie Hearn's behaviour, because I remember... At the start of July, Eddie Hearn flat out refused to actually admit that Ruiz wasn't happy to come to the UK. He was saying, "Oh, I don't know what these rumours are. I don't know what that, I don't know what this story is that, that that YB is breaking about Ruiz being unhappy." But then, as it as it went on and on and on, I even played the videos myself. In the last two weeks, Eddie Hearn's put out videos himself admitting that, "Oh yeah, Ruiz isn't happy coming to the UK at all. But I, I know he's gonna um, I know he's gonna abide by his legal obligations." So even that shows how Eddie Hearn's um, emotions have kind of progressed over the last six weeks. He started out completely denying it, completely denying that they had a problem. Then, all, then he was admit admitting it, and now he's exposing it in so many words. Put it out there to the public, and it's on Ruiz's shoulders now. If he, if he wants to come out and say I'm not signing it, there's going to be they're going to be going <laughs> they're going to be going to the lawyers. It'll be as simple as that because there is no way to there is no way to fix this. Even if, it's in the, even if it's in the US or Mexico, he don't want it there. He don't. He don't want it nowhere. And I'll tell you how we know this, because let's get it straight. It has or is Ruiz been complaining about the location? No. He wants more money. He's happy to go to Saudi Arabia. He wants more money. But contractually, he's locked in for nine million. So, I just don't, and legally speaking, he, got, he's not, he hasn't got a leg to stand on. Either you're not happy with the location... Or you're not happy with the money, but he's all over the place. One minute it's nine million is a problem. One minute it's the fact that Saudi Arabia is a level two security risk, which, by the way, which many people have brought to my attention. Mexico is also a level two security risk. The amount, the amount of cartel wars they've got down there, in my opinion, it's actually more. In my opinion, Mexico is much more dangerous on a on a consumer level than Saudi Arabia is. You don't have cartels running around the place of. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have them running around the place and all this business in, in Saudi Arabia. That's that's my that's what I've, that's what I believe anyway. That's what I've been told anyway about in general about the, the climate in Mexico. It's madness down there apparently. I think they have one of the highest or if not the highest murder rates in the world. Saudi Arabia doesn't. So in that respect, Mexico is much more dangerous. But my point is, this guy has been all over the place. 
Because let's get it straight. A minute, one minute he was saying he don't want to go to the UK. He wasn't saying he don't want to go to Saudi Arabia. Now it gets announced in Saudi Arabia, and he don't want to go there either. I'm trying to tell you, this, this, isn't, this actually isn't to do with where it is or how much money he's getting paid. He does not want to fight Anthony Joshua. And it's funny, I've got a video coming out soon because his own trainer exposes him to an extent. Because his own, tra his own trainer says, oh yeah, a true champion will fight anywhere. Well, wait there a minute. You haven't been updated on the memo, bro. Because you are a man saying he won't fight in Saudi Arabia and he won't fight, fight for 9 million. And my whole issue is, all of these problems should have been smoothed out at the time. And there's no court in the land that's going to that's gonna, that's gonna enable him to win this case. Not even one. You've, you've locked it in now. You can't change, you've been, you locked in, you signed off on $9 million for the rematch, locked in. What do you mean you want more? And he must know, it makes me laugh. Everyone gasses up Al Gaiman about him being this big Harvard lawyer, Harvard MBA Don. How does he not know he's going to get absolutely cooked? He's going to get absolutely generationally indebted by Ern Hearn, Eddie Ironclad Hearn and AJ. But I'm glad actually that whilst I was imploring Eddie Hearn to come out and expose him five weeks ago. I'm glad he actually, he, he was the bigger man in this whole time. This whole last six weeks, Eddie Hearn has taken higher ground. He tried to appease Ruiz. He tried to dole down the rumours that Ruiz was having fits and refusing and, you know what I mean, be being caught on the street with his, running around in his trousers because he's so scared, running around with no trousers on. Eddie Hearn tried to smooth it all over and just behind closed doors get this sorted. But now it's been, it's exposed out there. Flat out, they locked it in, and this here is, a, is an exposal. Because from AJ and AJ, or T, from Team AJ's point of view, they're sitting here saying, we've confirmed the venue, we've confirmed the location. What do you mean, Ruiz, you're not signing it? And they knew, because it's funny. Of, co of course, some people have said, oh, yeah, there's, there's no way Eddie Hearn and AJ would have put all this on Sky, would have put all this out if it wasn't already locked in. But you don't understand how these things work. You've seen Ruiz's response. Does he sound like a man that signed it off? In fact, Ruiz's trainers even come out and said in the last few hours said that oh we haven't even I'm not, I haven't heard that we've signed off on anything yet. Of course they haven't. They haven't signed off on it. So you can already as I've been telling you, the YB sources came to me earlier today and I didn't even think I didn't, honestly I didn't even think of it myself. As of about twelve hours ago, I was of the belief, like many of us were, I was of the belief that Ruiz has signed, Eddie Hearn signed, and AJ signed, and it's all locked off. But 12 hours ago, sources from within, within, within AJ's camp came and told me, listen, this is a, an expose by Team Hearn, publicly putting it out there. Now it's on, what can Ruiz do now, apart from actually expose himself? Because before it was people were saying, oh, hey, Team AJ don't want to fight, and Team AJ are scared, and Team AJ want to run home. But now you know the truth. Arabia, neutral ground, it's actually funny as well. This, this, this expose has been confirmed on a number of fronts, because... You'll see in a number of AJ's social media posts, he actually put up saying, neutral grounds, neutral grounds, Saudi Arabia. So he's really, this has been a very good expose. So when people read this, they'll, they'll be sitting there thinking, wait there, AJ's even confirmed it. It's neutral grounds. It's 7th of December. What does, what does Ruiz mean he's refusing to do it? And, and a lot of the naiveness, even myself, a lot of the people who will be reading this, assuming that Ruiz is signed up, to now hear Ruiz say he's refusing to do it, it even makes Ruiz look even worse because it actually sounds now like, or it looks like, Ruiz is actually trying to, it, as if Ruiz actually signed off on it and then backed out and now he's backing out, when in reality, he never signed it. He wants to go to court. But either way, my man Ruiz is getting exposed. All you dudes who thought he was an on-site man, <laughs> yeah, I'll fight anywhere, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I'm a champion, <laughs> I'll fight anywhere. You won't fight nowhere. You don't want to fight in the UK. You're scared of being... Brock down, you're scared of getting your chain jacked by the YB and a few Donnies. You're scared about the Saudi Arabia. Where do you want it? You don't want it nowhere. That's that's the truth of it, Ruiz. If I was you, I'd come out, put your hands in the air, right in the air and say, listen, I am sorry. I understand that I got away with it lucky the first time. I do not want to become the Mexican the Mexican flattened pancake on December 7th. That's what you can do. There's a number. That's one thing I, I feel bad about Ruiz because he hasn't got a good team. Game and he ain't, got, he ain't got a clue what he's doing. If people near to Ruiz, what they need to be saying to him is Ruiz, rather than refusing him and making yourself look bad, just come out and be truthful. People love the truth these days. Come out, explain your anxiety, explain your fear of AJ, and put your hands in it and say, listen, guys, it was great while it lasted. I enjoyed being champ. It was a lovely experience. But you know what? I'm basically in too deep. Yeah? Relinquish the belts. 
And I'm sure AJ is merciful, the same as the YB. AJ is truly humble and merciful. He will let you, I'm sure, in fact, I've heard of people within AJ's camp, he's happy to let Ruiz off on this one. He's not gunning for revenge. He's happy if Ruiz comes out and, and waves the white flag and surrenders and said he wants to, and, and, and essentially says no mass. AJ is merciful. He will take pity and mercy on Ruiz and he will let him out of the contract. Many, many people wouldn't. Many people not so merciful would say no, Ruiz. Even if you even if you wave the white flag, your ass is getting in there because we, we've got unsettled business. But I've heard from Team AJ themselves; they've said that they're prepared and willing to let Ruiz out of this one if he comes out and puts a minute video out on Instagram confessing how he don't want no problems with AJ. That's what I've heard. Simple. So now I'm glad to con to summarise this video. I'm glad all of you don't know, all of you man know the truth now. This here is Team AJ exposing Ruiz. Ruiz shook. Absolutely shook him. Behind closed doors, he didn't want to sign it. And now, publicly, thank God, even though the YB tried to tell everyone six weeks ago, it doesn't really matter. I'm not trying to get brownie points, but I'm just glad it's come out now. He don't want to sign it. Money, location, which is it? What, what part is it? I'll tell you which part it is. He don't want none of it. He don't care about the money. He don't care about the location. He don't want no parts of it. Yeah? Because a minute, what is it? Is it, is it wait there. Wait there. Is, is it the UK you don't want to come to? Or is it Saudi? Or is it both? Oh, wait there a minute. So, a minute it was the UK. Now it's the UK and Saudi. Oh, no, wait there. It's not UK and Saudi. I'll come to Saudi, but I want more than 9 million. Come on, man. Come with something better than that. This guy's all over the place. He's absolutely shook. Don't want no problems. Absolutely none. And this move right here to go public without Ruiz signing off and actually agreeing to it is an absolutely legendary move. This is a, this is a higher level move by Team AJ and Team Earn Hearn. Who thinks of this? Who thinks about going public, putting out the location, putting out the date, putting all the official stuff out, and then seeing Ruiz's team absolutely... They, they were shocked at this one. I've heard from sources inside Ruiz's team. They were absolutely shocked. They thought that uh, Earn Hearn and Team AJ were going to fanny around for more weeks behind closed doors, trying to pander to Ruiz's BS demands. No, you got exposed publicly now. You've been exposed as an absolute diva, Ruiz. I'm not going to sign this, I'm not going to sign that. Well, I thought you was a bad man. I thought you was the Mexican ruthless Aztec Donny. Where's that at? Where's the ruthlessness at? You should be saying, you know what? Nine million? I'll, wh I'll whoop his ass again for five. Never mind nine. That's what you should be saying. You should be saying Saudi Arabia. Never mind Saudi Arabia. I'll whoop his ass in Syria. That's what you should be saying if he was a proper on-site Don. You ain't no on-site Don. I'm not coming to the UK. I'm not coming to Saudi Arabia. I'm going to need that more than that million dollars. Guy's a pussy. That's what he is. Certified pussy. Don't want no parts of nothing. Absolutely none. Exposed.